Now to get a really good fit with these ones, you can see that there's a, a certain amount of give because they're generous with the grout lines. And I can line these up this way. But when I get to here, it gets a bit scrunchy. So I need to cut off a grout line. I'm going to cut that grout line off and I'll just show you how I do that. To cut off a grout line, I will definitely need my grosers because we're talking about a really skinny strip here and it's like two mil. But for me, what I use is my grout line. Let me just clean that off a bit. If you look down here, you can see there's the wheel and then there's the edge of the head. So I just put the that edge on the side of the glass um, and line it up with the edge of the glass and that's all I cut off. So that's about two mil. Let's have a look at it in reality. It all It's all well and good to say it, but let's do it. Keeping fingers crossed. So I'm on, my eyes focused on the edge of the head and the edge of the glass. And I'm going slowly because I don't need to win a race and I just want to cut the grout line off. So I've scored it. See, a bit of patience and you can be as accurate as all get out. Wow. Now, to get that little skinny bit off, we want the grosers flat side up, or if you put a happy face on there, you'll um, always pick it up, hopefully the right way around. And you come to the edge the very edge of the score line so it's right right there with it and luckily I can hold this today otherwise I would use the other grosers and you pull out and down out and down oh got most of it off and then it's just a matter of a little bit of a rubber dub dub on that to straighten it out and I've got my grout line off. How brilliant is that? Let's have a nice close look at how that's all worked out in terms of cheat cutting. And a great fit and a great curve. Up to this corner, looking really good on the close up. And all I need to do now is put them through the grinder to get those lovely smooth edges that we did on the other ones.